Now we'll talk about floating and why some things float. Anything that's put in a liquid will displace a certain amount of that liquid and you need to understand this term displace. Think of it in two pieces, displace. Let's imagine some water and suppose you launch a ship and the ship goes into the water. So the ship is sitting here now Okay, here's the ship in the water. Well, the ship sits down into the water somewhat. So this area down here at the bottom, there used to be water right here. That water has been pushed out of the way as the ship is put into the water. The water is liter literally moved over to the side. We say the water has been displaced by the boat. In fact, the size of a ship is often stated in terms of the displacement. A large boat might displace 30,000 tons of water or 50,000 tons of water. And you often hear the size of naval ships given in terms of their displacement. And all they're really talking about is the weight of the boat. If they say it displaces 30,000 tons of water, that means the boat weighs 30,000 tons. But this idea of it displacing a certain amount of water is critical to the concept of flotation. So let's imagine a piece of wood floating in the water. So you can draw this, draw the surface of the water here, and then let's draw a piece of wood. Actually, I'm going to put it a little bit lower. So Here's the surface of the water, and here's a piece of wood floating in the water. Now there's uh, a certain volume of the water displaced, and you can see it right here. Okay, this volume of water is displaced. You see that any bit of the wood that is below the surface has pushed some water aside to make room for the wood to be there instead of the water. So the volume of the wood that is below the surface is the volume of the water that's displaced. So now let's draw this again over here and we'll draw the forces acting on it. If the piece of wood is here, there are two forces acting on it. There's the weight down, we'll call that W, and then there's the buoyant force up, we'll call that F. The buoyant force, according to Archimedes' principle, is equal to the weight of this much water. Any object floating or submerged in a liquid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the water it displaces. So the, the block comes to rest at a certain height or sinks into the water to a certain depth such that F is equal to W. And basically if F is equal to W, if the buoyant force up is equal to the weight down, then it floats.